Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for this one. It's a new week, so of course there's more lawn care stuff to talk about. I discovered something this weekend that I wanted to show you out in my yard in regards to mowing tall and Kentucky bluegrass and at what point it might actually become a problem if you mow it tall. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so this thing back here behind me is 100% Kentucky bluegrass. If you've been following along with any of my videos this year, then you'll know that I did a dethatching process on this backyard in the spring here, and that's the first time I've ever done it, but it, it needed to be thinned out just a little bit. And it's taken about a month to kind of recover back to what it is now, but now it's getting back to pretty much of an extreme thickness. And so I've been mowing it tall because I let it get to about six inches after I dethatched. So I started mowing it at around four, and I thought, hey, I'll try that out for this year. I've never really mowed quite that tall before. So I want to show you though a problem that I'm having with that and that I believe that some of you might have a problem with as well if, if you just go straight to like a four inch height on Kentucky bluegrass. Okay, uh, this area right here is really about the only area that gets much traffic in our yard. So the rest of it out here, not too much traffic really except for me mowing. And then right here is where my wife walks into her garden area all the time. So this got really tall as I was letting everything else grow in. And if you look really closely here, you'll see I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you'll see some of these yellow light spots. And upon investigating those, I found that mowing this a little bit taller, at like four inches, is just not working out, and here's why. So here's a good example right here I'm gonna show you. Okay, so the, as this grass gets walked on, you see Kentucky bluegrass here. It doesn't have very rigid blades. You know, these can easily be pushed over. They're not gonna stand up on their own as easily as some other grasses, which I'll show you. I have a little bit of tall fescue to show you here in a second. Okay, so what happens is this thing gets pushed down like that. It stays like that for a little while. We've had a lot of wet weather, as you can tell. And then a mower comes in, and it tries to cut this off. Come on, people. I'm trying to record a video here. So as I was saying, if you can hear this over the garbage truck over there, see this right here? This lays down. It gets wet. The mower tries to go over and pick it up, but it doesn't have quite enough suction at that height. And then here we go. We're left with a bunch of moldy, fungusy problems that are happening right here. Okay, so that's definitely fungus problem from being too wet. All this grass folds over onto itself. It sits there in a wet environment, and there you go. So. I also have four types of bluegrass in here. Some of them are more of like a compact type, meaning that they're going to grow closer to the ground and not up. So then what happens too is you get these clumps like right here that grow taller than there's stuff around it that does not grow as tall. So then this ends up folding over a lot easier and this grass underneath here that is the more compact stuff doesn't grow up to this height. So that's kind of the problem at some point with mowing things that tall and this year I wanted to try four inches but it's not looking like it's working out too well now three inches on this in the past for me has been okay um, but we're gonna see what we're gonna do here I lowered this down to about three and a half on uh, my last mow and I'm gonna go back to three if I can get there soon so let me show you some tall fescue here and kind of the differences in that grass okay here's a really good section of a little bit of tall fescue and this got mixed into my yard kind of um, when I didn't want it to happen but it's here now so there's just some things going on there but okay so you can kind of see I cut this down a little bit lower this is probably underneath three inches now but you can see how much more rigid the gla grass blades are they're much wider bladed and when you step on this it doesn't tend to want to roll over very much like it will a little bit it's wet right now but it doesn't want to do that it wants to grow straight up so four inches on tall fescue or something like that it's going to stand itself up a lot better let me show you one more section here's kind of another section of it right here you can just see it wants to grow up like this and bluegrass obviously will as well it will continue to grow and grow and grow if you let it go it would get very very tall but in terms of running over it with a mower or foot traffic or things like that it's going to get laid over and it's going to be laying on top of itself and if your lawn is thinner then it's not going to show quite as much but when you have the thickness of my bluegrass then you have a problem there when it starts to lay over on itself 
So is mowing tall always better? Well, as you saw in this video today, it kind of depends on the conditions going on in your yard, your specific grass type. Even if you have bluegrass, let's say, there are different varieties of it. Some of them are not made to grow super tall. Some of them were made to be more compact and spread out towards the ground. So you have to kind of experiment with what's going on in your actual yard. Pay attention to your actual grass. And sometimes it's okay to cut it a little bit shorter. At three inches on my grass, I don't usually ever see those fungus problems or the grass laying over onto itself. So that's what I'm gonna go back to. I tried out a little bit different thing this year and it just showed me so far that that's not really the best thing for my specific lawn. So pay attention to your grass, what's going on in your yard. You don't have to really overthink things. Just go ahead and make some adjustments depending on what you're seeing. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll check out some more on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.